Hey there! In this video, I would like to talk about um, a pointer, a reference, and the difference between those two in codices. So, a pointer from some uh, data type, let's say integer, points to an object from the same data type, and when it's pointing to, the, uh, to this object, we are pointing to the uh, to the address of the object. In true, um, the address that the pointers holds, we can change the value of uh, the object itself. There is a fundamental operation on a pointer, and this fundamental operation is called the referencing. So that's um, the the fundamental operation on a pointer. A pointer should always uh, point to some object before being dereferenced because if we use the pointer without pointing to any object um, your program will throw an exception and um, it will just crash. So we should always check for a zero pointer before using it if uh, the pointer is valid and it's pointing to some address. The reference is basically the same thing as a pointer, but there are some main differences. Um, one, the first difference is um, that the pointer can point to a different object. So in row one, I can point to object one. In row two, I can point to object two. And that's not possible with a reference. The reference should always be initialized with one object and the reference hold the address of this object till the end uh, of the program. Another big difference is that the pointer itself has its own address. And the reference has exactly the same address as the object. So the pointer has address and uh, its own address and points to an object and holds the address of the object and the reference has exactly the same object um, uh, exactly the same uh, address as the object um, there is um, the, so that's basically uh, what the main differences between those two are there is one more that um, the reference should not be dereferenced. So the reference is used exactly with the same syntax as the object. We can assign just values and everything. So let me just show you some stuff uh, in practical that I talked about. So this is one pointer. <coughs> point to the object. So this is the pointer. Now you should be very careful because if you don't dereference the pointer and assign a value like this, you're actually overriding the address that we want to point to. So you should be very careful. That's, that's a, a very big mistake and very big error. So if you want to assign a value to some object, you should always dereference the pointer, and the dereferencing in codes is happening through this symbol. Okay, now if I do that, I'm still not pointing to any object, so my program will throw an exception. Let me show you. Now I want to write somewhere in the memory, but I'm I don't know where I'm writing. Uh, this one to the memory because we are not pointing to any object and if I start the program uh, the program will throw an exception so before the reference a pointer we should always check it if um, it's pointing to some uh, to something let's say it. if the address that we are holding is different to zero then we can assign some value before that, we should never do this. So now, as you can see, my program will not throw an exception because 
I never assign the value because I have um, a zero address. Now, still I didn't assign the value. Now, if I would like to assign a value, I should just point with the ADR and then um, I will put the object that I want to point to inside. Now, my pointer is pointing to, to this object from type uh, int and through the address, through the dereferencing, I'm assigning one. That means that the value of my pointer of the dereferencing of the object will be one as well. Let me just show you that. Now you can see um, my pointer has one and object one becomes one as well because through the address that I'm pointing, this is the address, this one is the address of object one and my pointer is pointing to this address and with the operation dereferencing I'm assigning one to the pointer and object one becomes one. As I said, a pointer can point to a different object at different time. So now I can just point to the second object with the same pointer and assign a value. Uh, let's say I will not check the pointer. This is just to show you that it's uh, working. So I can just here assign some value five, let's say like this. So here I'm, I'm assigning throughout the pointer, I'm assigning uh, one to object one and through um, throughout the address of object two with the same pointer, I'm assigning five to object two. Let me just download it. As you can see, object two uh, has the value five and object one has the value one because as I said, with one pointer, we can point to more than one object throughout the time. By the reference, the reference can be called like this, just normal, um, just like this, but there is an error. Now my program will throw an exception because the reference is not initialized with any, uh, with any object. I'll show you this right now. I can hit play and you can see my program throws an exception because the reference doesn't has any uh, and doesn't has uh, have any address that it's pointing to. You can try to initialize the reference like this, uh, but this will be an error error as well. So let me just try to do it. As you can see, the program is throwing an exception because you should always initialize so uh, the reference so the right way to do that is the reference I, what I wanted to say here is that reference and pointers their um, the main use of those two is when we uh, create functions and function blocks and we are passing or returning um, 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 the objects by reference but I will create a different video about that so I'm deciding to initialize the reference with object 2. Um, so the reference, now it's okay, the reference has the address of object 2. So that's the main uh, one of the difference between pointer and reference. Now the reference has, has exactly the same address as object 2, but the pointer holds the address of object 2 and has its own address. Now I will create with this with download and my reference will become five. Uh, nope, because nope, 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 nope. Now let's say it like this. Uh, yep, becomes one because the reference has the the address of object two but we are assigning one to object one in this, this row. We are assigning one to object one. And now we are assigning 
to the reference we are assigning the value from object 1 so 1 because of the reference is pointing to object 2 through the address we are changing the value of object 2 here object 2 has the value uh, 5 I will make a breakpoint so you can see that as you can see object 2 and ref the reference has uh, have uh, the value 5 but in the next row when we go through this row we are assigning to the reference 1 so because they are sharing the address they have the same address we are changing object 2 as well so you can see both are 1 I can show you that uh, there, um, uh, there before using a reference um, you should just make a, there is a special uh, codices um, uh, check that you can uh, make before using a reference and this is if is valid f then use it so like this then do something now Now, as you can see, I can delete uh, the reference from here. So the initializ is in initialization of the reference. Sorry, it's a complicated word. And if I download this program, so you see my program is not throwing an exception because I never reached this uh, this row because my um, reference doesn't point to any address so if I create uh, again the address of object 2 so I'm initializing in the value I will want to just show you that the address of the reference let's do it like this um, of the reference is exactly the same as the address of the object Of the object too but when a pointer is pointing to object 2 as well so this this pointer is pointing to uh, object 2 so if I get the address of this pointer this address here will be different like this As you can see, the reference has exactly the same address as the object. Object uh, the pointer with the object holds the address of uh, the object two. So the the the, re the address of the reference as well, but the pointer itself has its own address and that's that's uh, something else so as you can see you can do a lot of stuff with pointer and references but I will um, tell you that you should always use a reference if you are uh, not changing uh, multiple objects with one pointer so thank you for watching um, and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us through our website and we will try to help you further. Thank you.